Hi everybody, Spider Curl back once again, uh, back quite quickly since my last one. I uh, like buses, you you wait for a video from me and a load come at the same time. But um, yeah, I'm just um, recording this video, I'm going to be working on a lot of the different aspects of the rest of my V costume, and as I said, I would uh, post a video about that. So um, I hope you enjoy it, what I need to work on is basically the, the daggers, getting them painted and varnished and all of that. And then get the belt fixed as I said so uh, just a very quick I don't know how long this will be but just a quick video just to kind of talk you through the process that I use and um, the techniques that I kind of use to, to build it so I hope you enjoy it and um, we'll move on to the daggers. Okay so here we have the daggers after being painted um, did a silver sprayer on them I have yet to varnish them at all but uh, very pleased with them uh, they look really good, look like they're actually tinfoil or metal or some sort of. Um, so quite pleased with that. It's just a silver spray that I used. Still missing the ends because I've just varnished them, just waiting for them to dry before the second coat. Um, so there we are. So while I wait for them, and there's all, well, five of them, and the other one is over here. Uh, so basically now, at the moment, just working on the belt. Now the belt is basically um, cardboard and I've covered it in black um, kind of black masking tape um, or duct tape as the word I'm looking for. The belt here is basically that thick cardboard sprayed silver again uh, and then stapled onto there and you can kind of see underneath there where it's kind of additional on top of there. Um, and then this then basically goes onto my actual belt that I wear sort of attaches on. So this isn't actually a real belt, it's just a recreation of this belt itself. And as you can see I've just I've gone over this with another layer of duct tape and what I've started doing is uh, measuring out the holders for a dagger so that that would go into there whoops, like that. So just basically trying to get them make sure the right size that they look good because originally what I had was these and again it was a simple case of running out of time did these the night before the same time as I did the blades um, and then they were in there and they looked fine they were absolutely fine but they started falling apart towards the end of the night um, and they just didn't look quite right again just coated in silver duct tape there so what I have now is these are just strips of cardboard and there's, uh, it's actually from an old uh, an old Carlsberg box and I don't even drink the stuff so I don't know why I've got that but never mind um, so yeah so they're just in there and what I'll do is I'll measure all of them up give them a spray of silver a bit of varnish and then place them in and staple and uh, should hopefully look a lot better uh, than it did before and then the next step after that will be to reattach this to the belt itself which I will show you again in a little while but yeah that's pretty much my progress at the moment and um, as I say I'm really quite pleased with the way the daggers have turned out. They look much better than they did, thinner and just a lot more realistic. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm beginning to think maybe I could have done this a different sort of metal, maybe the, the silver that goes on the top so that it differentiates from this. Um, but no, I'm kind of, I'm happy with the way it is. I'm happy with how it looks. Um, I don't think there was too much of a difference um, in the film version. But um, no, I'm happy with this. So uh, yeah, that's my progress so far. Hi everyone and welcome back. It's now the following night and um, just a little bit more of a progress update. I've uh, done the belt, as you can probably see. I've got all the little cuts in there. I've also got all the strips ready, uh, spray painted and varnished. And the great thing with the Carlsberg box that I used, the side of it that had the print has actually turned out really nice, very shiny. I was planning to use this side, which has turned out a little bit more, um, I don't know if you can see, it's getting a bit bleached out by the light. But there we go. Uh, yeah, it turned out a little bit like that, which doesn't look too bad, really. Kind of looks like a metallic sparkly sword, whereas that's really nice and shiny. So I'm kind of debating as to which side to use at the moment. Um... I think I'm heading more towards having this side facing front and it'll just look a bit a bit nicer, a bit cleaner. So, but yeah, very, very pleased with these. They've all been varnished. I've also varnished the daggers and the handles. I have all of them here. With varnishing them, they have kind of 
and dulled a little bit. Um, oh, sorry, that's my phone cover. Uh, two seconds, apologies for that. Uh, they have kind of dulled a little bit in colour, um, and the blades especially. But I'm I'm actually quite pleased with this. They still have that shine because of the varnish. And now because of that, they don't look so much like tinfoil. They actually just look like uh, like like kind of metal. Um, I mean, and this one looks pretty good. But then I do have ones where the paper mache kind of didn't um, go on as smoothly. Oh, that's not actually too bad. There's a bad one. Oh, there we go. There's one. Um, yeah, we can kind of see the creases of the papier mache, but still look really nice. And I mean, the ones that aren't as good can go at the back that are kind of hidden by my uh, my cloak. So that's not so bad. So that'll go kind of in there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get these in and uh, then I shall show you what it looks like with it all together. And then after that, we'll I'll put a video of putting this onto the belt itself because there's a little part of the belt itself that I also want to kind of show you. Uh, another idea that I had um, and I'll do that later on tonight and then I'll get this posted um, but yeah pretty much pleased with that um, oh there hang on there's there's a bad dagger there you go that is actually those little tears there that is actually ironically uh, where I held it down with clothes pegs to keep the papier mache from uh, loosening up and then of course when it dried it stuck to the the, the the clothes pegs and ripped when it um when it opened so um yeah that was a bit of a but luckily that's that's on the side with the stitching so that would be to the back anyway so it's not too bad um but yeah yeah i'm pleased with the daggers to be honest they still look pretty awesome i mean that's much better than they were before they still look really good um yeah i'm happy with them i'm very happy with them um i wasn't quite expecting the 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 varnish to dull the color down as much as it has i don't know if i use it a bit too close or use a bit too much or the wrong type I, i'm not sure I've, I've not really done that before it's not anything i i don't regret doing it i think it's it looks great um just a little bit different than what i expected but i suppose it dulls it down a little bit and uh, makes it look a little bit more realistic because the, the the daggers wouldn't really be shiny shiny brand new kind of thing you know, so I'm pleased with them. I'm very happy. So yeah, I'm going to get these in and then I'll come back later on and show you the progress. And here we are later on and all of the daggers are now attached to the belt and uh, all fits together quite nicely. Back ones are a little bit, um, I think it's the tape that's behind it, a little bit stuck, but I don't ever remove the back ones anyway. And then these ones come out quite smoothly. Varnish is actually still a little bit wet. That's actually quite stuck in there, probably because of the varnish. There we go. So um, I like to have them with a nice tight fit because then they don't move around when I'm walking and uh, they hold in place quite nicely. So yeah, so there we go. That's, that's pretty much. And I've um, taped the back. I've um, stapled them in, taped the back, and then where the staples come through, pretty much in here. As you can see I've taped in there so you can't see the staples but also so that they don't damage the daggers in any way. Um, so there we go, that's, uh, that's that. And the next step is pretty much the last thing I need to do which is attach this to the actual belt that I wear which I will show you now. And here is the actual belt. Yep, and you're all wondering what on earth is that. This is basically um, an old belt that I had. It's quite a good one. It has just basically a, it's almost like, I, I like this belt because it was almost like a roller coaster. Um, so I think it just goes in like that and unleashes like that. And basically that goes around the back and this is the front. And then we have this, which is the bottom half of a shirt I bought from a second hand shop. And then I've just cut and attached to there. Um, and I will show you why I've done that, although it might be quite obvious. It might not be. I don't know. But um, I will show you why when I um, show you the costume all put together. So for the moment, I'm just going to attach the belt back to this. And then I will show you what it looks like all complete. And then I shall upload this and um, see what you all think. Okay, and there we have the finished article. Not quite with those hidden back there. But uh, there we go. 
There's the finished article. Uh, this is now nicely secured to the belt. Um, I've hidden away um, secures by putting some more black tape on, just kind of a couple in the center there. And then what I do is I put them where the daggers go, so then uh, they're not as easily. That one looks like it's bent, but it's not. It's just the way the angle is. Um, so yeah, as you can probably imagine, this is the bottom half of the what would be the tunic. Because as I said, it's just an ordinary black shirt that I wear, and obviously it's not this long. Um, so this was basically like a second hand, as I said, second hand shirt. And um, it gives the illusion that it's all one piece. Uh, which, again, was just an idea that I had because I kept trying to find just a long tunic, which you, just, you can't find a tunic the same as it. it was. That tunic was specially made for Hugo Weaving for the movie. So um, there's no way you're going to be able to find one without paying through the nose for a custom-made special one. So, um, yeah, this works just as well. It's it's. Um, I just had the idea if you had a black shirt, this then hides the gap. Um, or like, like where the join would be, and it carries on. And it, it does actually work very, very well. Um, just gives that illusion of um, a full tunic. So, um, yeah, it's uh, that's kind of the idea I had. So um, that is pretty much the costume complete, he says, hoping. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll upload this now. Um, hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough of my creation of the daggers the belt and uh, put it all together um uh, yeah and it's, it's it's always something i quite enjoy doing so hope you all enjoyed it um I, before saturday before the convention itself i will um post a kind of a video of me um with the costume on I'll, I'll talk through the different aspects of it um and then i'll put it all together and show you what it looks like complete so um yeah, look forward to that before Saturday. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye now.